In today's video, I'm gonna show you two different ways you can set up a keyboard split in Ableton so you can have your patches spread across the keys however you want. Brett Pontecorvo here from LiveKeyboardist.com where I help keyboard players just like you with the ins and outs of live performance software, with building a stable live keyboard rig, and with mastering sound design. If you're new here, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. All right, so the first way we can set up a keyboard split in Ableton is by using an instrument rack. So if you open up your browser from the sidebar and you choose instruments, you'll see you've got a ton of different options here and we're just gonna drag an instrument rack into your channel. And this is kind of a filter where you can send things to different places based on different parameters. So if you click this key button, you'll see we've got the keys across the screen and now we can add our instruments to this instrument rack. So I'm gonna go ahead here and add a bass sound, and then I'm gonna also add a grand piano sound. Now creating a keyboard split is as easy as adjusting these ranges. So we'll keep the bass on the lower end. And pull back the volume a little bit. And now we'll do our piano set to overlap slightly. And we could even just throw a little bit of delay on this piano. And now we've got an interesting keyboard split. All right, so the second way to create a keyboard split works really nicely when your instruments are in their own channel strips, which sometimes happens um, when you are building a live keyboard setup. If you wanna see my live keyboard setup, you can click the link at the top of the screen right now. So I'll add in that bass sound again, and then also um, my same piano sound. Now right now, both of these are set up. <laughs> So they're both gonna play simultaneously. In order to create a keyboard split, we're gonna go into our MIDI effects and we're gonna drop the pitch plugin before each of these devices. Now, the way the pitch plugin works is you set the lowest note plus how far you want the instrument to go. So if I want this C to be my highest note, what I'll do is I'll start adjusting this range back until I see that blue dot light up. All right, so now I know at 60, I've got my keyboard split. And we'll do the same thing for grand piano, except we'll know that our lowest note is gonna be this C sharp, which is C sharp three. And now we've got the same split. Another really cool, interesting thing about this is I can also adjust the pitch. So if I was doing a setup where I needed to play high notes with my left hand, using this pitch plugin, I could actually transpose this and it would still honor the keyboard split. Now, if you wanna go deeper, I've got a link on the screen right now where I show you how I set up my Ableton Live Keys Rig, and you can also book a private session with me from the link below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on LiveKeyboardist.com.